Did you know that in Chrome OS, you can actually run and install, or I should say install and run, Linux applications. There is a Linux terminal built into Chrome OS. You can basically use it to install a couple of different flavors of Linux and then run applications that are not meant for Chrome OS, applications that are not Android applications, and it actually works surprisingly well. It turns out that basic feature is going to be coming to Android relatively soon. Let us turn our attention to this article on AndroidAuthority.com, the uh, great Michelle Rahman with another breaking news story. Shocking. Android 15 QPR2 confirms Google is adding a Linux terminal app. Finally, the new terminal app will let developers run Linux apps in a virtual machine. You know, I don't know how I feel about a hairy version of the little Android guy. I prefer him, I think, to not be furry, but that's just my own opinion. We are talking about a beta for Android 15 QPR2, which has just rolled out, and Michelle discovered inside settings, system, and then developer options. There is a, an option that says Linux development environment. Now, right now, it does not function. So don't install this thinking, I'm going to run Linux apps on my phone right now because it says tapping it uh, did nothing. The app just crashed after failing to start a virtual machine. But we do know, generally speaking, how this is going to work. We have this uh, tweet from Michelle a little while back. It says, currently the Debian images are hosted on a Googler's GitHub, but Google does plan to host these images themselves soon. And we have this little uh, snippet going to shared to Michelle by an anonymous developer. And you can see turning on the Linux environment, going into the terminal. And what you can see here to launch Linux terminal, you need to download roughly 350 megabytes of data. So what that's going to download is one of these little distributions. And once that is done, the terminal will load up and you will have access to your Linux terminal, which you can use to do all manner of different things like potentially installing and then running these Linux applications. Again, this is just like how it works already today, right now, on Chrome OS. Just to kind of give you a little sneak peek at what this feature might actually end up looking like, this is a Chromebook that I have. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump into our settings. And we should be able to head down to, I believe it's in, yes, about Chrome OS, and you will see Linux development environment. And if I click on setup, I do believe this is very similar to how this is actually going to go. So you're going to set your own username. You can allocate a certain amount of storage, and it's going to begin installing Linux. Now, you may get to choose between uh, different versions of Linux, Debian, and things like that. I'm not a big Linux expert, but you may get to kind of pick a distribution. But in this instance, it's just going to download it for the virtual machine, and it's going to install it for you. At this point, you can type in a command like sudo apt install gimp, and it should go ahead and grab and install an application. In this instance, GIMP for you. GIMP is a, a basically a Photoshop alternative that is an open source free application. And it's installing right now on my Chromebook. And theoretically, you're going to be able to do the same thing on your phone once this feature is enabled. And now you can see here in my Linux application, there is my brand new GIMP photo editor, and it's going to open up and run just fine. So this is more or less how I think this is going to go. So as you can imagine, pretty exciting times ahead. This does open up the door to a whole bunch of really crazy stuff. I want to make it very clear that we don't know when this feature is actually going to launch, and we don't know which OEMs, if any, are actually going to support it out of the box. But again, the door is opening. Imagine plugging your phone into a display, a hub, maybe with a mouse and keyboard, and running full Linux applications right there from your device. This could be very, very interesting. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. 
of course, I will be linking to this brand new article from Michelle Ramon here on Android Authority. So do go click it and read through it because there will be some details in there that, of course, I'm going to not necessarily cover in the form of this video. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. <laughs>